Hello everybody, and welcome to Wheel Troubles Let's Play Mist 4. Uh, this is Revelation, and this is episode 5. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I end up repeating some things that were in the last episode. Haven is a marvelous age, but the way some of the puzzles work and the way the island is laid out, I do tend to get sidetracked and backtrack a few times. So, apologies ahead of time. We're going to take this little path that wide off, and... We finally explore what's along here. We have this nifty little totem. And let's grab a picture of it because these totems obviously matter. And let's zoom in and see if the little glowstone actually tells us anything. thought about that animal. Let's go ahead and move around and get out of this little grassland area of Haven and move toward the rainforest again. Uh, we'll get to what I consider to be one of the more difficult puzzles in the game. There's there's a couple. There's one on each age that they're auditory puzzles and they drive me up the wall. Just checking for any side paths I may have missed there. There's a lot that you can miss while playing Mist if you're not paying attention. Which is why you missed it the first time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trap. Glowstone. Hmm. Well, that was completely unhelpful. We already knew what those were for. Sounded like one of the main trees, didn't it? There's the little tent that took us along for the ride. Good thing we didn't land on one of those thorn trees. We're going to be very careful to look around here. There's a clue that we need. And it's an auditory clue, so if I start getting really quiet, that's why. What we need to do is get those monkeys off of that totem there. And you'll notice they're just busy trying to play King of the Mountain with the fruit. Kind of playful, aren't they? Scared one off, but he didn't make the call we need. There's a specific warning we're looking for, and we have to duplicate that particular sound. Did you hear it? If not, go ahead and backtrack, because I'm not going back for it again. First time I played through this, I'll be honest, I had to use nudges like you wouldn't believe. Just because, even though I was doing it right, it didn't feel like I was doing it right because it wasn't triggering anything. Get this brush out of the way here. I don't know why I can't just walk through it now that I know that path is there. this down in the last episode. This reminder is good. We're going to make sure we get a good picture of this because we need this order for one of the puzzles later on in this episode. Spinning around, we have his Mangry kill count up in the uh, 30s there. 32. That's it. That's it. You know you want 
the fruit. Come on, little guy. That's it! Quite the accomplished hunter. And nothing else really to see here. So let's see the objective we're trying to deal with first. And see, we can't see this totem because the middle monkey is always in the way. So we have to find the mangry warning call so that we can scare them off. And so here's the puzzle. And it works by these little vibrating gourds. Or, sorry, it's got string held under tension with ridges and the gourds underneath to produce the different resonance tones. So that wasn't right. See, that didn't work either. And this is with me having notes on it. This is one of those, there's like zero fault tolerance in this puzzle. There we go. Very subtle differences, not enough to where I would have even cared. But Ubisoft did. And when you're trying to spin those with just a mouse, ugh. First time I played through, I finally had to just break down and use a walkthrough just to make sure I wasn't going out of my mind. note to future puzzle developers, please don't do that. It annoys your audience. Don't get me wrong, it, it adds a little bit of, of the realism to the game, but there's better ways to do that. And do we always say hello the same way? Really? So there's... we've seen... The totem out on the beach with the giant monster thing. We saw the grassland totem. We saw this totem. But there was a pyramid of five. So we still need to explore a little bit. And this time I want to head deeper. So jungle, much dense. What do we have here? Fruit. Okay. Nothing important right now. And this age kind of harkens back to Mist 3 in Adana, where we actually had to deal with nature being one of the main components. Happy bird guy. <laughs> Just shoot him with, with the fruit. He didn't let go of the fish either, you notice that? That's priorities. We have this little door here with a panel. Let's see what we can figure out. Glowstone! which holes to put the hammers in. Okay, so the Karnaks are somewhat intelligent. Get the plate out of the way. And we need to get the hammers, obviously, onto the buttons. But we can only shift them little bit by little bit using the sliders. So, switch this over. And then we have to adjust the... bottom one here, bring, start dragging it over. I 
I know, you guys are wondering, if you already had it lined up, why are you moving? You'll see. Drag this down, slide over. Drag this up. Slide that over. Down one. Slide. You see the little retainer slides actually keep the button from being pressed all the way, so... You, you actually have to navigate this in such a way that you keep the the slider from acting as a stop. So shift over one, drop this down, and voila! Not a hard puzzle. This is nice. Fresh water, according to Atris. Seriously, how hard is it gonna be? Worst part's gonna be the foundation. Once that's in, got to be better than sleeping in the wreck, right? Oh, the never-ending quest to upgrade your home. Civilization. Actually, that's a really nice-looking home he's got built out on the little lake there. Ooh, totem. Take a picture, and then we'll listen to the glowstone. Lots of glowstones in this. Okay, so that's four of the five pillars we needed. So let's make our way towards civilization that we found, and maybe along the way we'll be able to find that fifth pillar. Not a lot of materials this way. That must have been a lot of work. And this way should just take us back down to the grassland, but let's... There's that sound again, in case you forgot. See, they didn't even time it that well. Which makes that puzzle infuriating, honestly. It's not that... It's not that I disagree with the concept behind it, but there really needed to be much higher fault tolerance. This is important for later. There's a specific thing I'm trying to trigger. Um, I had mentioned before that part of this age resembles Adana from Mist 3 in that there is an organic component to the end. And so in order to get that organic component, here we are. We have one injured Mangri. And one guy looking at us going, are you going to help him? So we need to figure out what to do. Can't seem to grab much here. Don't want to just drag him off by the tail. <laughs> we can poke him, though. Leave me alone. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. That's better. So he shoots us with a fruit. So we'll just bring it over to this guy here. Pokemon one last time for good measure, let him know we haven't forgotten him. And then we're just gonna walk away. And you guys are wondering how this could be an organic item without really being a conflict of sorts. Because obviously, as a prison age, it couldn't keep rewriting itself. There's no one... Is this guy gonna do anything? Come on. I've given you food. What more do you want from me? Oh well. We'll just keep walking, come back, and check up on him. Anyway. 
it had taken Aknar a little bit of time to get used to the Mangries. The so much blood thing. And who knows, we might find a journal. Obviously he earned their respect somehow. Through fear or whatever. <laughs> there goes another one. And the dinosaurs. Yes, I realize that's not their names, but it's the best way to describe them. here must have been awful. Makes you wonder why we didn't see anything more about insect repellent in the journal. It's interesting, these creatures just keep moving. They don't stop for anything, it seems. And there's the totem, so we just need to make our way over to it. But I'm just looking around, taking in the view. Not in any particular hurry, this go around. Nice little perch. Little S shape. Let's get a picture of it. And then zoom in to see if we get any anything from the glowstone here. Gracious. Sadly, I know way too many people who seem to think stupidity is a virtue. At least Akinar had something of a sense of humor. And we are ready to move on. We've seen all five totems. Please get out of my way. Stupid. Definitely stupid. So we've seen all five totems, and I've shown you the pyramid where you can see the order of things. And... Um, Very stupid. Okay. So we've seen the order of things. And we tried to befriend the Mangri. Don't know if it's actually occurred yet. Just enjoy the view here. Part of the reason I'm taking some time to enjoy the view is until Mist had until Cyan had announced they were gonna re-release all of the mists. Uh, for Windows 10, it was getting increasingly more difficult to play these. And rather than have that happen again, story time later. Don't care how nimble finger they are. They're not gonna get in when I'm away. Okay. But rather than lose the memories from these stories, I wanted to be able to preserve them so that I could enjoy the stories later. And these Let's Plays are actually my way of doing that, so realistically I'm doing these for me more than you guys. Alright, and kind of obvious here. There's five things. It's a pyramid shape on the bottom. There's your hint. So there's the order we need things in. And you'll notice we can zoom in on the pictures if needed. That's going to be handy later. So we look for the creature that had the kind of human hand thing. Um, don't see it here on his list, but we've got the mangri with the fruit. And this little chart helps you kind of whittle down what's what. It's as do the totems. So let's go ahead and set the puzzle. 
and you can see the different heights here what set these in position. So dinosaurs last. There we go. Let's take another glance here, kind of refresh our memories. We got the first and the last ones. So, Clover thinks that it was already there. And you'll notice one of the eyelet pieces is busted. That's going to wreak havoc on us later. Okay, next is the two-footed thing and then the Y-foot. Or two-toed thing and the Y-foot, so... Kind of take a look here. Three-leaf clover for one of these. There it is. And then we have to guess on this last one. And then try the paddle. Wrong. Drop it down a notch, try again. Wrong. Try again. Still wrong. And another way of doing this would be picking the right one on one side and then lining it up off that and then fixing the other one. But this works too. So there we go. One platform and the bridge lowers. It really is a good way to do your front door lock. I don't like the sound of that resetting. It makes me think something's going to go drastically wrong. And we're going to make our way over to Akinar's second home. And let's see what we can see there. There's that area where the totem was. I'm not really sure I would want to go for a dip in there. The water looks a little bit stagnant, doesn't it? into the hut. <laughs> Front door's barely on. And we're just gonna take some time and explore. I love looking at people's chests. Okay. Seems to be another code thing. It's a very particular Mangri, and it shows his little sound code that he'll respond to. So low and then mid. Or is that mid and low? Oh, this is going to be a headache. Nice shirt. Please! I can't take it anymore! It's too late. It's too late. They're all dead. All of them. Sounds like a bit of remorse there. Don't know what that has to do with the shirt, but... I'm sure the stone has its reasons. We have a book that I'm... We're gonna go ahead and pick up here and let it do some reading here for us. Not sure I can do this. Pan feels awkward. Keeps slipping. Been so long since I used one. But what else is there? What else to do? Went back to wreck today. First time since moving into house. Found his bones exactly how I left them. So clean now. Bleached white by the sea. How many times have I replayed it since then? Sun sinking into the waves. Tip of my spear. Gleaming wet with the poison. 
see myself crouching low near the rock, so sure he will come because of his mate. Sometimes in my head, it happens different. Poison gets diluted, or one of her ropes snaps and breaks. He rears back, spear misses. Somehow they both get away. And we all get one more day worth living for. Reset traps today. Swamp water corroded one of them. Forced to go to depot to fix. Coming back, saw a Kamadile take down a Zeftir. Moved with such precision, not a single gesture wasted. Zeftir probably didn't feel a thing. It's not what I expected, living lakeside. It's calmer, not as windy. But rain still beats down like in the wreck, and it's hot, still hot. Only real difference is the screens, a lot closer now, on all sides, starting to get on my nerves. Can't sleep. Too many screams. And when I close my eyes, the things I see, the faces. My God, Cirrus, did we really kill so many? Added it up, best I could. Eight years, three since I killed the last Serpati. Keep thinking I should do something for him. Play some kind of tribute next to the bones. Totem pole, maybe. God knows. Carving it would keep me busy for a while. Maybe I can make one for each of them. What's the use? What's the use? Can't go on like this. Can't think. Have to do something. Keep my mind off the dreams. Maybe, maybe go south for a few days, sleep outside. My Godfather, did it have to be the same? Two weeks working my way through the South Jungle, and for what? More of the same, more of the same, empty nothingness. Can't take it anymore. Can't live like this. Karnak's got in while I was away. Forgot how agile they are. Braver, too, when they're hunting in groups. Been breeding like mad ever since I killed their primary predator. Should probably do something about that. But maybe I can redesign one end of the bridge. Create some kind of lock to keep them out. Went back to the south jungle today, hoping I'd missed some. Saw a group of mangries playing under their nests. Thought about replenishing supplies, but couldn't do it. They just looked too peaceful. Eventually turned to go and spied one of them watching me. Their lookout, I suppose. Wonder how long he knew I was there. Ink supply getting low. Watering it down, but might try to make more. The way the channel would tree dwellers once taught me. Found some petals in the south jungle that might work for the ink. Picked a few to take back as an experiment. While picking them, I noticed something odd about the mangrees. In the north, they all scatter as soon as they spot me, but the south tribe only looks curious. Must be because I never hunted them. New ink seems okay. Would prefer a better color, though. I'll head back to the South Jungle in the morning, see if I can find different varieties. I don't believe it. Went back to gather more petals and found a bunch of them already picked. They were lying in a pile where I'd been working. Mangries must have done it. Imitating me? Spent most of the morning in the watchtower trying to observe from a distance. Find out how they act when I'm not there. 
Couldn't see much, though. Trees are too thick. Would like to get closer somehow. I suppose I could build another post, but it'd have to be different this time. Not a lot left I can take from the wreck. Kinda like the idea of going all natural. How the heck did Savidro's people do it? Been weaving support branches all day and my arms and chest muscles are killing me. Mangri sure got a kick out of watching though. One of them even stopped playing long enough to come over and give me advice. At least that's how it seemed. Wouldn't stop chirruping at me. Made me want to rig up another sound system, see if I can try and talk back. Oh my god. It can't be. It can't. This evening, I was sketching in the post, trying to get their expressions right. Mangries were playing that game they liked to play, fruit tossing. Ball must have rolled under the post. All of a sudden I heard this cry I'd never heard before. Sequence of drawn out highs and lows. Looked up and found all of them looking at me, pointing at the ball and making that sound. Like they were calling a name. My name. They've given me a name. What am I supposed to do with this, Father? What am I supposed to do? And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and analyze this. Wheel Trouble out.